Steve, John, thanks for joining us. Uh, first of all, Steve, how did you feel when John did the business at Q School and you'd be on the tour together? Oh, no, it's been, um, you know, obviously I've watched it closely. Um, John's sort of a path through Q School and yeah, it was, you know, like I said, it was like a, a dream sort of coming true in front of my own eyes, you know. So it's something we dreamt of. Um, you always hope it's going to happen. When it actually does, it's, um, it's a special feeling. John, you've had a great start to life on the tour. How much of that has been down to having your old man about? Oh, well, all of it. But it all down to me, old man, really. He taught me everything I know. So, yeah, I never mean. Thank I'm thankful for what he's done for me. And you first getting into the sport, I guess you'd have played a huge part in that. Yeah, you know, or growing up, I loved darts since as long as I can remember. Like so, obviously growing up from early age, about twelve years old, I remember going to like like some winter gardens and alley paddy stuff like that, watching my dad. So I was all thankful to what he's what I've grown up watching. Steve, did you always know that John would make it pro at some stage? Yeah, you sort of he's always had the talent um, and just the temperament, I think. And obviously to to become a professional player, you got to tick a lot of boxes. And talent is only one box. There's five or six you need to do. So. Over, just like, I've just seen a, a difference over the last 12 months in John and his attitude um, and he's really sort of put himself out to uh, practicing more than ever um, but, he, but he's worked, worked a lot on his on his technique and you know, not necessarily so you know he, he, he sort of says that a lot of this is down to me but a lot of it's down to John and, and his hard work so it's been a pleasure watching him um, progress over the last sort of, certainly the last 12 months and you're known as much for your work off the arcade you are on and I know John played a massive part in you getting into that yeah, of course, yeah. And then obviously you know, John started coming to watch me when I was um, playing on TV quite a lot around sort of 2010. Uh, and he showed a keen interest in what I didn't want him to do was learn in the, in the traditional ways that we used to learn, which was in a pub. Um, so but I quickly recognised that there weren't many sort of safe spaces for kids to play darts. So it was almost like a eureka moment, I suppose. Um, so I opened up above my dad's bar um, one week, advertised in a local paper and sort of 30 kids come along, but they weren't beginners. They'd all been playing somewhere in their garages or in their bedrooms. So I knew that, you know, this must be going on everywhere. And I was right. And John, when you were at Q School, knowing that your dad was on tour, was that an extra motivation? Oh, yeah, for sure, yeah. So obviously, it's a both, dream of both of ours, I think, to uh, be on the same tour together. Like, and the other dream is to be at Eddie Parry together. So fingers crossed, we do well and both get there. Yeah. What, what are your ambitions in the sport at long term? Oh, just be a full time pro, you know, just all I want to do is my dream. Be full time pro, and then if he tries to steady climb the ladder, get towards the top. And Steve, I know you're documenting all this in a, in a video blog, both of you are. Um, it could be a very special year on tour together. Yeah, obviously, the vlog was going to be a personal thing um, to start off with, and someone mentioned that perhaps a lot of people might, might like to see it. So we started Dart Family TV, and it's, it's going really well. I'm enjoying doing it as well, to be honest. So um, for me, um, having John on the tour is an extra incentive to, to work harder and to maintain my pro status, if you like. So. Um, and it's just been so good watching John. I've, I've, I forgot a, a lot of stuff that I taught John growing up. And so I can sort of see it coming back, you know, almost like a sort of it reminds me of um, the stuff I should be doing right, which he's doing now. So um, hopefully he's, uh, I haven't run out of time. Yeah, I saw a UK Open entry. Um, John, you're maybe a bit hard on yourself after <laughs> one of your losses, one, one of the games you lost. But um, do you have to sort of um, bring John back up after he gets a bit down on himself from time? Um, no, I mean, to, to be honest, I mean, it's all sort of been there's not much of a roller coaster. It's sort of it's been a bit of an incline for John at the moment. Obviously there are gonna be down weekends. Um and that's you know, when my job is a dad, you know, you know, I'm sort of his roommate, his dad, uh, and a colleague as well. So um obviously when well, there are many different hats, but um obviously my my um my first sort of reaction is always to be, be dad and uh obviously if he falls on there I'd pick him up. You're there to pick him up as well. Yeah, likewise, likewise. So. Yeah. And obviously the big one, if you were to draw each other, who's gonna win? I, I don't. I wouldn't like to say. No, I, I, th <laughs> I think experience gets it. <laughs> what? <laughs> see how it goes, I suppose, won't we? Yeah, we'll look to see that. Yeah, cheers, guys. Thank you. Thank you.